Welcome to the master class on serving. I believe the serve is the most important shot in pickleball, and I'm going to talk about why. The serve is the one shot, the only shot in pickleball where I have total control. Every other shot I have to deal with in real time, and somebody else has hit at me, meaning it's coming at different speeds, different heights, different angles, and I have to deal with that ball in real time. None of those things are true with the serve. If I have that much control, if I have total control, then my serve should be one of the best shots of mine during the game, or maybe my best shot during the game. I should be able to use my serve as a weapon. Other things we know about the serve that are in our favor, generally I'm playing doubles, meaning I have two opponents. During the serve, one of my opponents can't interact with my serve at all. They can't poach, they can't get in the way, they can't do anything unexpected. All they can do is stand there and watch, so when I'm serving, it's me against one other opponent. And what do we know about that one opponent? Generally, they're all the way behind that baseline because they have to let my serve bounce. And they're usually pretty stationary. They're not moving back and forth across that baseline. I can take my time and look at them and think, are they in position or out of position? Did they leave too big a hole on one side or the other? I can think, do I want to serve to their backhand or their forehand? If I played them before, I may know where their weakness is. So I can take my time, I don't have to rush, I can figure out how hard and where I want to serve this ball. All of those things are to my advantage. What is the goal of the serve? My goal is simply to get a weak return off of my opponent. I'm not trying to hit an ace, I'm not necessarily trying to hit a winner, a winner being a shot that they dump in the net or they can't get across the net back into my side of the court. I'm just trying to get a weak ball out of them that me and my partner can attack and keep control of get another weak ball, we attack that or keep control of it, get another weak ball, and we keep doing that until we win the point. Yeah, I know, I can't do that all the time, but that's the goal. In general, I'm trying to make life difficult on that person trying to return my serve. I want to give them a serve that stresses them out a little bit and doesn't give them a free pass up to that kitchen line. And that can mean a variety of things. It could mean that I'm trying to serve to their backhand more, I'm trying to serve to the corner more and pull them off the court, get them moving laterally and not up to the kitchen. I don't want to serve a short ball that they have to run forward to and I've actually started their migration path up to that kitchen line. I want to make life difficult on them. I want them to give me a weak return of serve that me and my partner can attack. How then do we get a better serve? Two major components really. The first one is our shot mechanics meaning that those motions our body goes through while we're serving to have a good serve go across that net and challenge the person trying to return that serve. Most of this videos in the series that are coming up are going to focus on all of those little components of the serve that will help us get better and better over time. So be watching for those. The second component is practice. And in my opinion, not enough people practice their serve. What I see is people will come out to get ready to play and they'll get warm. So we'll do a little bit of dinking for three or four or five minutes and then maybe they'll even step further back and hit some longer shots for a couple of minutes and then they'll go, okay, I'm warm, I'm ready, let's go. And I'm thinking, you haven't even hit one serve to practice to get prepped for this game. You at least need to throw some serves in there to practice to make sure that you're ready to go. But really on the practice side for serves, we need to think of it as its own entity, its own thing, and we should be drilling that on drill days the same as we're drilling our third shot drops or our dinks or our drives or whatever we're practicing. When I played tennis, I would take a basket of balls and go out and practice serving for a couple of, well, not a couple of hours, for half an hour or an hour. And so that's how I got better at serving at tennis. And we need to do the same thing, have that same philosophy for pickleball, is that if we want our serve to be a weapon, we want to have a good serve, we need to go practice. In this masterclass series, I will focus on what you can or should do as far as practice is concerned. And you really need to practice your serve. As I said at the beginning, serve is the one shot in pickleball where we have total control. We need to take advantage of that. I'm holding the ball. I don't have to hurry. I can figure out where and when I'm going to serve to which side of my opponent and think all of that ahead of time, take my time and serve this ball. If I can take advantage of that, total control of this ball, of this shot, then my serve should be pretty good. It should be one of my best shots, but it's not going to be if we never go practice this and we don't give it its due and understand how important it can be. And we can get a lot of free or cheap points off of our serve 
if we'll go practice. I will talk about how to go practice. For example, today, or this year since the first of the year, it's almost the end of February now, I've been hitting 125 to 130 serves a day just to continue to get better, just to stay sharp with my serve and get my consistency higher and higher. That may be a bit much for you. You may wanna just do it once a week or maybe twice a week, but the more you can practice, the better you get. You already know this from all the other drilling you're doing. So practice is a big component. Mechanics are a big component and together we can develop an awesome serve.